Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about breathing. I know. You know how to breathe, right? Everybody knows how to breathe, except that we don't. In fact, so many of us don't know how to breathe properly that we are like doing massively shallow breaths. And so it's like, right? You're just breathing in your chest at the very top of your chest. You're not even filling your lungs entirely, right? And, you know, okay, you're still getting oxygen. You're still upright. You know, what's the problem with that? Well, the problem with that is that it tells your body that there's danger. Remember in the last video, we talked about neuro-linguistic programming and how certain things are in our body are tied to certain emotions. Well, shallow breathing is tied to panic and uh, a need to sprint and pain and uh, danger, fear, right? So if we are breathing shallowly, we are telling our body that we are stressed. And uh, this does things like spike your cortisol levels, which makes it very hard to lose weight. It also uh, does really bad things to your, your hormone balance. And you know, cortisol is like a massive, massive problem for uh, those of us who are chronically stressed. And if you've come from any sort of challenged environment in your life, you are chronically stressed. And if you're living in a pandemic, hello everyone, you are chronically stressed, whether you want to agree, believe me or not. Everyone is chronically stressed right now. And so the, the piece that you need to remember is that your breathing is the key. Your breathing is the doorway to convincing your body that you're less stressed than you are. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to practice breathing. Now, there are many, many different breathing exercises out there. There are entire schools of healing based around breath work. We are not going to go into all of that. This is a mini, not a whole episode. So we're only going to talk about one type of breathing exercise today, and that is belly breathing. And I'm going to talk about that one because it's the one that we naturally do as children. If you watch a baby breathing, you will see that it's the, the baby's chest doesn't rise and fall. The baby's belly rises and falls. And so this is the one that we are most naturally attuned to and is the easiest one for people who are beginning a, a breathing practice to practice. Now, the easiest way to do this is to lay down. Now, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to move my camera and everything else, but lay down, put your knees up so that you're not putting stress on your lower back and put a hand on your belly. I don't care which hand, pick a hand. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose. And I want you to only raise your belly, not your chest, just your belly. Okay. All the way in as deep as you can get it. Deep, 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 deep. And then hold for two or three seconds and then out through pursed lips. Okay, so you heard how long it took me to let that go, right? This is not a process because if you do that, you're gonna hyperventilate and you're, you're gonna get dizzy. And if you weren't laying down before, you will be shortly because it'll make you pass out. So this is a slow, deep breathing process. And there's a reason for it being slow and deep because when we breathe deeply and quickly, we're maximizing the oxygen in our system, usually because we're getting ready to run or physically ex exert ourselves in some fashion. And again, that's gonna trigger an adrenaline response and that's gonna get you all hyped up and there goes the cortisol levels again. So don't do, the, don't do it breathing fast. It is a slow breathing process. And the idea is to do this for eight to 10 breaths or longer if you want. You're doing a slow breathing exercise so it shouldn't be problematic for you. Uh, but do be careful. This may dump more oxygen in your system than you're used to having. Uh, in fact, it almost certainly will. And so sometimes that can make you a little dizzy. And so when you go to get up, be careful getting up. But the key is that as you do this process, you start to unwind your muscles, right? And as you're unwinding those muscles and the tension is releasing and you're breathing easier and everything's working better, your cortisol levels are going to come down. 
you're gonna feel better, your stress levels are gonna go down. And you may find yourself feeling less hungry, feeling less stressed, feeling less burnt out, right? All of these things from simply doing some belly breathing. Simple exercises that you can do first thing in the morning, before you go to bed at night, middle of the day, if you're having a, a hard time, uh, you know, just go into your bedroom, lay down for a minute and do eight or 10 belly breaths and you'll feel better, okay? So that's it for today's mini. I'll see you next time.